Now I realize that uh, the more person here present, they are the uh, English speaker. As uh, I am a French speaker, allow me to use my bad English. Yes? Madame, Monsieur, bonjour. Bonjour. Honorable Ministers, Cabinet Secretary, Excellence Ambassador, EAC Secretary General, Permanent Secretary, Principal Secretaries, Member of Diplomatic Corps, Development Partners, Private Sector Representative, Distinguished Participant, all the protocols observed, good morning. Allow me to thank our almighty God to save us and all to arrive here in this very beautiful city of Arusha, Tanzania. Allow me also to thank the United Republic of Tanzania for their warm hospitality from the airport to here we feel as we are at home we thank also the ministers of agriculture environment and other natural resources to attend this high level to talk about environmental and natural resources. These show us the importance they attach to this high level. As you know, the EAC 2050 vision emphasizes the interconnection of food system livelihood and environmental management, climate change, and we know that this climate change poses significant threats evidenced by intensified extreme weather events resulting in food, water and energy insecurity, land degradation, and more. The regional climate vulnerability impacts assessment underscores vulnerability, notably in rain fed agriculture and hydropower dependence. As you know, we are here around four objectives. One is to foster collaboration among EAC partner states, regional bodies, and international partner for climate resilience, food security, and environmental sustainability. Two is the showcase innovative approach, best practice, and success stories in climate adaptation, mitigation, environmental sustainability, and sustainable agriculture within the EAC region. Three is to identify opportunities for private sector investment, research, and technology transfer to support climate smart agriculture and sustainable environmental practice. And the last is to unveil the EAC region position towards UN Climate Change Conference COP28. As you may be informed, 
we need to achieve some result. And one is that the collaboration and the knowledge sharing among stakeholders within and beyond the EAC regional must be enhanced. Second, innovative technologies and the practice for climate smart agriculture, showcasing best practices and the success stories must be highlighted. And the three, funding opportunities by the private sector for research, technology transfer, and the climate smart agriculture promoting tangible action must be identified. And the last, the EAC position at the COP28 with the shared expect expectations of EAC partner state for the conference outcomes must be presented and addressed. This is what we are looking for for this high level forum. And I wish you fruitful discussion to achieve our result. Thank you very much.